So, can I call somebody who practiced this calling, Jesus the Most High God, and let us hear from her mouth what did the Most High do for her? Yes. So, so when she saw me, she said, I want to tell you something. The last time when you taught us something, I went home and I did it. And I not only did it, I do it even today. I might forget breathing oxygen, but I don't forget calling out his name. Please call Janet from Sydney! <laughs> You know, in God's kingdom, you don't look at the body or the age and all. Because in the Bible, the Bible says, the one who is in the presence of God, the person is like the tree of Lebanon, and the sap and the tree is green all the time, bearing fruit even in the later age. Yes. Yes, good. So, so I mean, uh, can you come close to me, please? Yeah, tell us, what did you do after listening to the teaching on the Most High God? It was in the month of August when I come, you had written the notes, and you went home and you tore them out. I went home and I practiced it. I put it into practice. And every day, whenever I am driving in the car, saying the rosary, between the nakeds of the rosary, Jesus, God most high, Jesus the most high God. I kept repeating this all the time, day and night. Even when I go to bed, when I'm going to sleep, I keep saying, Jesus the most high God. Because I had a, a bone that was, I broke my wrist and the, the operation was not successful. The bone was not joined together and it was protruding, sticking out like that. Very obvious. Very so, so, so it, there should have been a lot of pain as well. No pain. No pain. Actually, the surgeon wanted to do, to do it again. And I said, no, it's not giving me any pain, so I leave it at that. And, then and then the bone was outside. It was sticking out. I can't tell you how, how obvious. Everybody who knew me saw what I had. My family, my friends, everybody saw the hand. And then I started praying this breath. And I would hold my hand like this and pray. Throughout the day, whenever I had tea time. So you started in the month of August? Yes. After the class? Yes. And it went on for about three to four months. Okay, that's okay, four months. So the next day the bone was not? Yeah, no, no. Next day the bone was sticking out for three months. So you did not give up? I didn't give up, but I kept on. I kept on. Uh, but but when you did not see anything, why you did not give up? No, because I knew God was in the process of doing something. Say that again? Yes, God was in the process. 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 Of doing. Yeah, we, even when we were traveling all the time in Australia, especially in Sydney, uh, you know, when we take the GPS, everything is going on fine, and all of a sudden they write, work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, and they, they put some lights and they put some arrows and then they say no entry, you have to change your lane and all that. Uh, yes. So, the work in progress. Yeah, Why do they have work in progress? <laughs> to irritate people. <laughs> to teach you to be patient. <coughs> and also to make some more better improvement. Yeah, like the, the roads and all, the bridges and all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in the same way in our life there is work in progress. Yes. So you kept on saying, no, so, so you kept on saying work in progress. You are the most high God. Yes. And the work got into progress. Yes. So three months you did not see anything. Nothing, no improvement. It was still sitting out. And then one morning when I woke from my bed, I looked at the hand and there was no, the bone was completely gone down. And what happened to the piece? No piece, it had gone down and I didn't have it. It just fell down. And uh, I said, cannot be. I'm not trying to do this and, uh, you know, like to make it. It's paramount from there. Nothing. So I, when I went to the local, uh, we've got a brand new you know, church. And I told them, uh, I give thanks because the glory is God, not mine. The word of God healed me. So even though I didn't see what when it came out, I didn't give up. And I tell everybody, say that. Yeah, because 
brother explain to us what it does. It opens up the heavens and God's plan is to get put into... So, so you mean to the, say the devil's, the Satan's plan was cancelled? Cancelled, completely. Completely. Because so the, Satan wanted your hand to be like this? Yeah, it had a big bone. The bone was protruding so badly. So much so I used to wait to come and touch when it used to stick like that. It looked so awkward. And the nurse. When he said, you have to have that done again, otherwise that bone won't go down. It was not uh, the, the first operation was not done properly. Well, it's possible. But, but, but this operation was for okay, the second one? No, I didn't have this operation which doctor with Jesus did for me. Uh -huh. no, 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 and no beating? No, nothing. And back to original? Yes. And now you can shake. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> so who did it? Jesus, the word of God. Jesus, the most high God. Jesus, the most high God. Jesus, the most high God. So if there are some Satan's plan in your marriage, Satan's plan in your children's life, Satan's plans in your finances, whatever is there, when you open your mouth, believe in your heart, and keep confessing, the Most High gets into the scene, and the Most Low has to be. Hallelujah. Yes.